Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Blasted Oasis. So we are in the base ground floor here of the uh, Shotgun Messiah. We finished this building up yesterday. A couple of jars of water I got here on the ground. Uh, empty jars of water that is. So I bought whatever I could get from the vending machine. There was like oh shit drops and something else. I can't remember what it, or the, the AOE stun one or whatever. I grabbed those for the five food they gave me each, but I'm still pretty starving. So we're going to have to make our way home. Um, we do have three skill points now though, so I want to go ahead before I forget and I want to put one more point to intellect and another point to advanced engineering. This is going to give us um, more forged steel for, this, for the uh, iron that we have because uh, it'll cost will be 25% less. So instead of like, I think it's like 24 steel or whatever, it's only going to be 18 or something like that. So that's good. And we got some zombies outside. There was a wandering dog horde last night, too. I don't see them here now. They may be out there, I don't know. Well, we got lots of ammo, so I'm not worried. Come on, buddy. They still coming? Come on, guys. It's morning. There you go. Come on. Oh, we still got more. Hang on a sec. I want to check something here. Uh, what's our game stage at? 154. Beautiful. So we game... Games gained six game stages, and it wouldn't be a fucking episode if there wasn't a barrel front. Uh, we gained six, six uh, game stages. Yeah, I, I heard you. I heard you. Got more coming. Six game stages in one night. Oh Jesus Christ! There's a lot of these guys. Alright, see if that bear hurt us. Yeah, it sure did, because of course it did. Just glad it has problems with stairs. Yeah, see there's another dog over there. Alright, we gotta get out of here. We're gonna head home. Let's have a look at the map real quick, though. I gotta... Before I forget here. I'm gonna add a quick waypoint which way we gotta go. Damn it. All right. Okay, we got to make a quick stop right here. All right, we're going to take this car apart. We need the gas, so let's hope we can get some out of here. Ooh, we haven't actually opened this place yet. Open this car yet, that is. Take the repair kits. All right, no gas. Car engine, wheels, springs, drop loot. Oh, we did get gas. Beautiful. Don't need you. We do need you. That should give us, I think, enough to get back. Mechanical parts we don't need. Damaged car engine, vehicle. I want to take this. I think we need that for specific tires. I get this feeling we're gonna run out of gas before we get home. We just don't have quite enough. I don't think we'll get any of that. Nope. VM wheels. I don't think we don't need the rims. Okay, gas. Where are we gonna get gas from? Oh, here we go. We might get some off this guy. Let's hope. And we'll take the repair kit. 
There's a little bit. Nine is not going to cut it. Is that all we got? Nine. It's not going to put a dent in anything. What do we got here? Get damaged car seats, lead car battery, mechanical parts, mechanical parts, whatever was in the car. All right, well... I think we're just going to make it home. We're at 7% at the trader. It'll be 6% probably by the time we get there. Yeah, we might just make it home. I think I found that extra little bit of gas. This guy's not open yet, though. But you know what we do need? We do need wood. Started to run a little low, so let's grab some of this while we wait for him to open. All right, trader's open. Grabbed a little bit of iron while we were here too. Might as well while we're wasting time. All right, I don't think he's got anything. Nothing's updated in there yet, okay. Well, it is trader day. Well, it was yesterday, that is. So he might have good stuff on him. Ooh, 1600, 1100, we'll take this, this guy. All right, and then let's go ahead and sell the stuff off. Okay, and that can go. Oop, we'll just sell this straight up too. Okay, now what do we got? 30,000, so let's see what he's got. Facial piercings? No, thank you. Ooh, batter up, take that guy. Uh, SMG auto turret, we don't, we don't think we need another one. We got lots, AP ammo. Regular 9 mil ammo. Forged steel. A couple of blade traps. I don't know if we're ever going to employ those. We might. Ooh, wasteland treasures. That's two books we don't have yet. Great doing business with you. Come back and tell your friends. Nothing for that. Yeah, we didn't complete them. What else do you got here? Nothing there. Nothing there. Gunpowder will take. Got to get the pipe bombs moving today. That's important. Uh, I'm going to buy this and this just so we have it in stock. And probably that. Uh, nothing we want there. Uh, AP Magnum Ammo. AP 7.62. That's it for that. Nothing there, nothing there. All right, so I think we're good. Much obliged, Now, Ranger. uh, fetch clear to the south. Help me with a problem. Skyscraper, that's probably the Gashi Tower guys. or something. Um, Check my other sources. Do you think you can help me with the a same problem? one. Well, I can't say I'm not disappointed. They seeing you. And then, to the south. Predicament. That's the one we just did. Okay, maybe next time. Uh, travels, friend. They're all tier five here. Help me hospital. We've already done the hospital. If you change your mind. What's this last one? Friend, Two kilometers west skyscraper. Trouble. Ah. Would you consider helping me? <sighs> well, it is west, and we haven't been that far. Well, let's take Brilliant. that. I guess this kind of makes us friends now. Whereabouts is it? Okay, sure. We'll roll with that. You never know. So it looks like we wrenched just enough gas to get us home. Let's go take care of these guys. Yeah, so these guys are no longer a one-shot kill. Oops. Alright. That's not bad. Alright, let's get this stuff inside, put away. we got a lot of work to do today. Definitely want to bring this in. Ooh, I should have sold this. Oh well. You know what, we have to go to the other trader today still too anyway. So let's leave. we got a ton of stuff in here we got to sell. Uh... 
That we don't need. That we don't need. We don't need you. Let's just bring in the stuff we want to keep. That and that and that. Might as well bring the oil in. Treasure map can come in. All right, let's get inside. All right, we got a crap ton for the crap ton of stuff for this other trader. So let's get over there. Fill this up. Well, we got half half a tank of gas. That ain't bad. All right, so stuff I want to get accomplished today. We got to get the steel flowing. I want to get parts of the up, outside of the base upgraded to steel. Uh, is there anything in here we need? Dog food will take. So I gotta focus on cooking too. I gotta get some learning elixirs going. What do you got for me? Take this concrete. Uh, what do you got here? Okay, SMG turret we don't need right now. Ooh, I got Thank stuff in the God bike. You're done browsing. I got stuff in the bike. I ain't done. Guy's always in such a hurry to get rid of me. What's up? All right, uh, let's sell this stuff. All right, so that's not too bad. We made a little bit. I still got stacks of coin at home, so I'm not really that worried. Uh, nothing there. I'll buy these, and I don't think we're gonna need to buy food after this. I just want to have it in stock, so when we do do cooking, we've got it all. Only 20 gunpowder, huh? Bender me over, buddy. You're bending me over. Uh. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Nope. Yep. AP ammo, yes, for sure. That's all the ammo you got, huh? Okay. Well, I'll take the forged iron. We'll take your nitrate powder. That's really it, huh? All right, well. Thank sure. God done browsing. Did Next we get a job for you? We did not bed. because you had the crappy ones, right? So, fetch clear to the west. Factory large one. To an understanding. I think that's the Shamway one. It is. That's the Shamway factory. Perfect. Excellent. So the day after Horde, we're going to, well, not the day after Horde, but right after the Horde, we're going to go out and do that one. It's one that we haven't gotten yet, so... Might as well use these while we're here. Okay, let's get back to the house. So finally we got the Shanway factory. I think that's the only real building, tier 5 wise, that we haven't really done. We've done the hospital on our own. Then there was the Shotgun Messiah. Well, Higashi Tower we haven't done, but we could do that anytime it's next to us. I don't think... I mean, I did that in, in my last series, so... I don't think we need to do this one, but the Shamway Foods place we haven't done, so I want to go do that. Why do I feel like today is going to get full with, filled with idiots just interrupting me? There's your brother over here. Someone coming from here too. The double twins, man. What's going on? Ooh. Where's your twin? Not out here today. All right. Fair enough. All right. So what I want to do, accomplish today is I want to get the drawbridge up. But what we need to do as well, we're gonna need clay eventually. But I have more than that. Oh, I I, for, I furnished it. That's right. So let's go ahead. We're going to need to make at least probably uh, 300 dirt, probably. Ooh, I don't, we can't, I don't think. 170. Well, 150 then, I guess. Get started on it. We'll leave this in there for now. All right. Um, let me get this sorted and then we will get on to what we're going to do here today.
All right, so before we do anything else, what do you got? Four dog food? That's it? I think it's dog food, beer. What's the learning elixir now? Uh, acid in beer. Red tea, which I think we've got enough of. Right? And the acid's upstairs. We can only make two, so let's go grab two acid. So we'll get those going, so at least we'll get some good XP over uh, the next horde night. Oh, man. Bring it around here. Come on. Come on. I miss having that... <sighs> Forget it. I miss having that door that I can just kind of go out in the ground level. But if I have that door in the ground level, then they're always going to come to the door. Come on, buddy. There was nobody there a, mi a minute ago, you know? What was I doing? I don't know what I was doing. I gotta put all this stuff away still, too. Oh, wait, we got two more dog food here. Some acid. I thought we had a little more than that. What needs to go downstairs? You do. Those guys. Those guys. That, that, that. Alright, let's go downstairs. Okay, we've got enough to make. We need two more red tea. Can make three at least. Get those going. Then we can put this stuff away. All right, well, we got four of them for uh, Horde Knight. That should be enough, I think. That should get us lots of XP, I think. Let's go ahead and use this guy. Where is that one? I have no idea. Oh, it's up here. Yeah, that's not that bad. We could do the fetch clear of the treasure map after the horde, I think. All right, so that's done. Let's go back upstairs. We're gonna need to get our concrete and our rebar because we gotta add. Um, what's I doing here? Oh yeah, this guy. Put you in there, so we can put you in there, and then let's grab. Uh, our concrete, our rebar, need you. Where is our rebar? We got a crap ton of it, there it is. We got down here, we're gonna need our bridge. Where is the bridge, right there? All righty, and then what else do we need? We need to do is set these forges going again. Now, I had some sand going last time, 4,000, nice. So let's go ahead and grab some stone. Okay, then we should bring our forged iron and steel with us. All right, so first things first, let's go down out here. I wanna upgrade these blocks. that one did this dry yet still hasn't dried I got it I put it I broke it out and put another one in when I was doing work on this base a couple of days back and it still hasn't dried again so it's just that block location that's having a problem I guess okay there's that now I want to do these guys because if a demo goes off right in front of us we want to make sure that we're at least protected against the massive blast because if there's a hole here, we're in a lot of trouble. Okay, that's that done. How much we got left here? We'll do 10 more blocks. So, I don't know, maybe these top guys here? Maybe the corners? Don't know here. I mean, it is pretty darn secure, you know? 
Like if a demo was to go off, let's say right here, it would take out these guys, but they would still be able to jump up and into here, if it, unless it blew down two blocks, which I don't think it will. If it takes the corners out, it doesn't matter because that block and this block still protect the inside. So I mean, I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and work on this now. So we'll go on face. Well, that's not perfect there, but... I don't think I'm going to break it out. Not right now. All right, so this gets updated to this as well. Then we got to grab this guy. And then we do advanced. All right, let's knock this in. So I think we can attach the drawbridge right here. I think that's probably where it should go. Like right here. Yeah. And it comes down and it hooks up right on this part here. So we need to take out this part here. So starting from here, do that. And then go, let's go one more. Okay, so there's that. And I don't think we're gonna go elaborate with this. I'm not gonna put a ramp in here. I'm just gonna make this for easy access. So I think what we need then after that is to go with these guys. We've gotta take these out here. Okay, and then we take these guys out. And that's gonna be the curved blocks which we gotta get from inside. All right, so we just go up here. What I wish they could do is give you a block that wasn't like, you know. Yeah. I mean, I guess this works. I was thinking of something and I lost my train of thought. It was something important. Some kind of shape I was looking for, and I was like, oh, yeah, they should give you a block that looks like, and then I, I lost it. All right, let's just put this stuff in here. So I'm going to go ahead and shape. We're going to go with, I think, this guy. That one? Yeah. I think so. Because this is connected. I th no, it's connected to these blocks. That's right. Oh, I know what I was thinking of. Yeah, so for the drawbridge, right now, you've got the only choice of a 5x5. Five five. But if you think about it, like, you'd be, like, not necessarily creating a full drawbridge like this. It would be, like, a one wide that you'd be creating, I think. You know what I mean? Like, just, like, a, a big board that you could just lay down. Because for an individual person to be using a... Um, a... Uh, a massive drawbridge like this seems like a waste, but even like they should make it like one wide, a three wide, and a five wide. So something like this for vehicles, and then a one wide just to be able to walk across, and a three a three wide just to make it like you know a little more interesting. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our these guys. So we want to add corners. So we want to grab these ones. And we'll put them on down here, like we had before. It just gives it a little bit more, you know, texture. Looks better. Alrighty. And then what we're going to do is grab this. I think we need four ladders. Let's just do regular ones for now. We can upgrade them. Right, and then we go one, two, three, four. No, not four, three. Right, and then what we do is we take 
these guys again. To make it easy to get up, we put plates here and here. Doesn't look perfect, but it'll do. We put those in like that, and then we can go ahead and remove these guys. And finally get rid of this door up here. Excellent. We do two of these guys here. And then we go with uh, you. Like that. Perfect. Now all we have to do is paint this side. And this is our new way in and out. I mean, it's not the best, but it'll do. It will do. And we'll make sure this is up every night. That way if the zombies do ever climb that ladder, we don't have to worry about them getting in. Alright, we can take this out now. And now we need to get some of these. Hmm. Just get two for now. So we're not wasting too much time. Wood bars, two. Right. And then we can copy rotation. There we go. Body the door is gone. Excellent. This just feels better, you know? Okay, now that's done and out of the way with. Uh, what kind of steel are we looking at down here? Oh, we don't really have anything there. We don't have any iron to put in, do we? Got a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that. As much steel as we can get out. Ooh, 200 and something. That's nice. Although we won't get all of it, that's fine. Yeah, we got a significant savings now. Okay. So, what's next? Uh, painting, I think. Let's put this stuff back in here. Okay, let's get the outside painted first, and we'll worry about the inside afterwards. So, we need to do this wall first. So, let's grab you, and then let's use this guy to get this done. We'll go back over the window and fix that in a minute. And then we'll do the far side. It's almost night time, which means I should probably head down into the mine again for a bit. Okay, and we want this guy with this paintbrush. Okay, that's that. Then let's grab you. Okay, so that's that side done. Actually, not all done. Let's just grab this one and do that piece. All right, and that's the end of the walls. So the outside is nice and painted now. Feeling a little better about that. We got still got to do all this, but that's fine. Worry about that tomorrow. Let's get back up here. Let's get back up here with the drawbridge down so we can actually get in. All right. Okay, so as far as lighting goes, yeah, so we got a lot of options here. More so than the just standard trouble lights, right? Ooh, cool, cool, we got the open sign, the exit sign, ceiling fan. Oh, beautiful. Uh, we need to get these down. We got one for the kitchen, right? Let's get one in the kitchen here, like that. Then we'll put a second one in the living room, like that. Okay. Our dining room, that is. Now we got our chairs upstairs we need to bring down. Uh, table. Is there a way to make a table? Um, I think we can do it with just regular wood frames, frame blocks, if I'm not mistaken. Shape. Uh, yeah, wood plate pole. I think we can do, like, if we invert this, uh, advanced. Right, we can go... Ooh, it's going to look terrible, though. It's going to look terrible. If we put it against the wall, though, like... If we go one... Two... Right? And then we grab... 
right? We can copy shape. Oops. Can't copy shape, but we can go this route. Where are you here? Where are you? I just, there it is. Just had it. Copy rotation. Eh, copy rotation. Like that. God, this is terrible. Uh, and then shape, we want to do the plate. Where's the plate? There we go. Like that. Huh. Materials, let's grab the... We can make a black granite table. All right. Now the question is, is if I do black granite, if I paint this... Oh, it only paints that little bit, eh? That's nice. So it treats the legs as separate. So we do that. That and that. Then we can grab... Something like that. So it's not too bad. What do we put as a wall though? Like, I mean, I guess we could go standard brick. We could continue the peach out from the kitchen too, right? Like if we go Yeah, I guess. Ah, oh, shit. Hit the top of the table. Hit the top of the table. All right. Well, oops. Not what I meant to do. All right. We got somebody creeping around outside, too. Day 63. It is horde night, so we should have a good time tonight. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. I forgot to start making pipe bombs. That's not good. Now let's just check if it uh, didn't go over the end. Okay. Come on, buddy. Where are you? There you go. Burn! Burn, you bastard! Burn! Done. Alright. Let's get this upgraded. That's all done. Yeah, I don't know why that just won't bother solidifying. It's kind of annoying, but whatever. It is what it is. Not a damn thing I can do about it now. Alright. Okay, so. Yeah, actually, uh, not. I don't know. I am hating that. That color is just so weird. Um, I mean, we could do white. Ugh, that's probably worse. Purple? Got somebody else outside. Like, if we do... white yeah no let's leave it as peach for now I guess got to bring the chairs down from upstairs we still gonna need to do the roof I want to get these lights hooked up too I got to figure out where I'm gonna put the fuse box though because I mean we also got to have also got to go outside and murder this guy outside Gee, you come up on me real fast. I thought you were heading towards the base. That scared the crap out of me. Alright, we got another guy wandering around here out here somewhere. There you are. Come on. Free hugs. Alright. 
kind of working for me. Yeah, I don't mind the look of this. I like how it's inset now. The straight up paint didn't do it justice, but I think with the, um, I think with it being inset like this, it's actually kind of nice. Let's just go ahead and get the rest of the sidewalk updated here. So we should be seeing demos tonight at one at 154, 155 game stage we're at now. The demo should show up tonight, so I'm gonna hook up. Oh yeah, we gotta get pipe bombs going. I'm gonna hook up the M60 tonight, the level six M60 that we picked up. For crying out loud. Not sure how that missed. So it's getting, I mean, it's a little harder to kill them now with one shot. But that's just because of the game, the, uh, the uh, stage we're at right now. Because I've got it on, um, survivalist. And after this, we're going to insane difficulty right after this horde. So, um, it'll be even harder to kill them with one shot. I mean, we just won't be able to do it with one shot. All right, I have to just fill this in, I think. Ooh, yeah, I forgot to put another block in here again. I better do this, because if I don't do this now, it could be a problem. Another zombie. Go away. That's for tonight. Come on. Just come back tonight, okay? Well, you're not coming back anytime, but... All right, that's enough building upgrades for now. Let's get the stuff that we need to get done right now. Pipes and Molotovs. So what are we looking at for pipes? We got lots of pipe bombs. We got a hundred. I'm not that worried about that. Hundred pipe bombs and 61 Molotovs, which we probably will never use, but you never know. Uh, yeah, so we really don't need to, like, worry about this right now. Uh, you know what we should do, though? Okay, where's the M60? There's our shotgun. There's this guy. We have a level 4 auto shotgun. This guy can come out. We have fully auto. Burst mode. We got you. Reflex sight. Weapon flashlight, because we want to increase the damage as much as, as much as humanly possible. Put that on our armor if we can. Oh, we got a banded plate on there. What do we got on this guy? Nothing we need. Junk sledge. I don't think we're going to use the sledge at all. Wait, do we have a way to hit on this? We don't. But we could probably put. This weighted head. All right, modify you. Pull you off. Okay. Change that around. Drop that in there for now. Okay, that one's got plates. This one doesn't. Excellent. Does everything else have plates? Yes. 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 Okay. Alright, so... Should I make a drum mag for the M60? That's the question. Or do we just take it off of this guy? I think we go straight up M60. What's the damage on this thing? 59 or 58. This is 64. So we're just going to go straight up. Uh, yeah. And this guy will be rocking the armor piercing tonight. Which, how much do we have? Ah, a little bit. 
Hopefully it's enough. Hopefully it's enough. We'll have the SMG on us too with armor piercing if we need to do that. Um, okay, let's just put some stuff away here. I can be working with you for now. Hang on to that for a minute. Okay, we got a fair bit of steel. Is there anything else out here that I want to upgrade before we start tonight? I mean, I guess I could do that up there. Or that in there. Because these two are plated. Because this is basically one block high. Which has got the plate behind this one. So it's basically three plates of steel. This is nothing. Just concrete. But I don't ever expect them to get up there though. So maybe we just do the corners. Alright, what do we got left here? 332, we'll hang on to that for now. So the last Horde Knight, these guys all need to be updated. So it's 14, 28, 420 more. What's up, buddy? Burned out. Alright, let's put the bike... You know, not even gonna say it. Come on, bring it in if you wanna if you wanna fight too. We can all fight. Let's go. No? Alright, fuck off you guys. Alright, um Right, for tonight. Um we got lots of repair kits. Let's get rid of this stuff out of here. And it can just go where it needs to go. Okay, we've got a lot of repair kits, so let's just go ahead, get all these guys repaired. I don't think that auto shotgun is going to be worth it tonight. I mean, other than the extended mag- well, probably it probably will be for the extended magazine. Uh, see, we've got tube mod on this guy. Choke. We do have another choke, don't we? We've got a choke. I don't think... The tube mod works on that. Um, where are you here? Modify you. The choke does. The extender does. But this doesn't. Oh. Fully auto. Or we go burst mode. That's interesting. Let's keep that on us too. Yeah, and then this guy, modify you. Let's add this, this. Oh, it's either one or the other, right? Eh? Add those three. Just as a backup, I think. I think I'm overthinking this. I don't think we need to worry too much about that. Oh, uh, battery bank. Forged iron electrical parts and scrap polymers. Now, we don't have one, do we? Oh, we wanted to make the... Uh, uh, let's just do it. Forged iron, polymers, electrical parts. So that's for the house. Uh, so we can put you away. Then, actually, let's just put the weapons back in here for now. We'll worry about it in a minute. Put this paint away when we go downstairs. Rebar frames can go away. Okay, so that's that. Uh, right, we want to do... We need you. We need you. And you. Uh, is it hoist? No. It's a workbench, I think, right? Auto workbench. Here we go. I need a claw hammer. 
a full workbench. Watch this set. All right, so we should be able to just, there's our claw hammer. Let's just go take the workbench from downstairs because we're not really using it. Let's go ahead and take this guy. I was just thinking while I did that, I should make the basement where the auto, like the, uh, um, our auto uh, bases, and then dig a tunnel out so that the it, it it will emerge in the parking lot out there, and then we can just drive straight in and park underneath here. But then I think the zombies will recognize that as a way to get to me. So I don't think that's going to work. Uh, okay. Auto workbench craft beautiful. All right, now we got the power and the fuse box. So if we're gonna run this power for downstairs, where's the best place to put this? Uh, I mean, we could just put the battery bank here. Like that. And then we can go ahead and put the fuse box like right here. Because I think uh, wire tools over here. Once we wire this up, yeah, it's like it doesn't. Um, it doesn't have um, any four, five, six. It doesn't have any um, lines connecting it. Okay, put those in there. Go from there. Question is, can I do this though? Oh yeah, okay, it's still hanging on to it. To there. And then from there. To there. That's visible. So what we would have to do is go... So any line leading out of the fuse box is invisible. So from there. That makes more sense to there. And then if we go turn this on. Right, those lights should be on downstairs. Yep, they are. Awesome. <laughs> Fuck off, Mo. Come on, get back up. I ain't done with you yet. There you go. Yeah. So that'll work. I mean, it's super bright in here, though. I wish they had dimmer switches, you know? That would be cool. You can set a value just from 1 to 10, even, or 1 to 5. That's all you would need is a 1 to 5 value or a 1 to 10 value. If I turn my headlight off. Yeah, it's not too bad. I mean... It's a little bright, but then when the fog comes in tonight, it's not going to be that bright at all, you know? Let's get some more lights made. So we need brass, electrical parts. Uh, where are we here? Brass, electrical parts. What else do we need for the lights? Working lamps and lights. We want a boob light. That's what we call them in our house, our house boob lights. Got the little nipple and everything on it. <laughs> Ceiling fan. Yeah, PhD. Like, it all comes out of here, though. There's nothing here that's really... We can make lanterns now, too, eh? Which are nice. Porch light. Old porch light. That's kind of cool. Fluorescent light. Hanging fluorescent light. Oh, that's cool. So, that... Ooh, excuse me. Broken glass I need for that, eh? Um, er, I think we can just scrap bottles, can't we? How much do we get for that? We scrap them. We'll get 42. And another nine more. So that's five. It's enough for five lights. 
Yeah, I mean... Sure. It's getting there, though. Oh, let's go get our chairs. He says with, like, eight hours to Horde Night. Uh... Chairs. Here we go. These are the ones we stole from that house. Oh. Really? They don't... They just look like normal chairs now. I picked up the chairs because they were supposed to be cool looking. That's sucky. Alright, whatever. Alright, where are those hanging industrial lights? Street light! We could make a street light! 25 forged iron, electrical parts. We gotta put it on a post though. Let's make one of these guys. Let's get one of these guys. Recessed light. Right, that's like inside, like, yeah, that's kind of cool too. Sconces. Work lights, wall light, track lighting. Craft a track light. Let's waste all our resources before Horde Night. Uh, what else do we want here? I want to see what one of these looks like. Chandelier. Classic street light. Oh, that's the, like the little lantern poles. I can't get it in the queue, though. Alright, let's see how big this workbench is. That's a fair size. That is a fair size. That's the kind of thing we want to have a garage for, but... You know... I'm a biker, we'll just put it right in the middle of the living room. Let's put it down in the basement. Where, though? Like... Right there, probably? Alright, what do we need here? So we can make stuff... How do we make a full car? Oh, cool. Armored Cobra. Oh my god, we gotta make this. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Look at this thing. Where have you been all my life? Should have been focusing on doing this as soon as I got it. What's this thing? Okay. The Mustang Fastback, I guess. With things... Look at this. <laughs> Tractor. Hot Rod. Oh, that's pretty cool. Forklift? You kidding me? Okay. We're making one of these guys, because this is awesome. So we need a car uh, car engine assembly, which we need carburetor, car transmission, car engine, and a brass radiator. So the radiator is easy, because we got like 5,000 of them. I got to bring all my parts downstairs. That's what I got to do. I got a whole box of them. All right. Uh, what do we need? What did I say we needed? Carburetor. I knew we needed a carburetor. Car engine. Uh, was it an alternator we needed? God, my freaking brain. I'm telling you. Let's grab the seats. I'm just going to grab all this stuff. This I can know. We, we can repair that. We don't need that. Do we need? We're probably going to need the chassis. I, I can repair that. We've got the wheels. Probably going to need a battery. Actually, I'm going to grab a... I don't think it matters what level of the battery, but I'm going to grab it anyway. Um, do we need this for inside the workbench? I don't think we do. We might need wheels, though. Um, this is going to suck if we can't make this right away. Recipes, car chassis, mechanical parts, forged iron, forged steel... Uh, let's grab the mechanical parts. We got electrical parts on us. Probably gonna need oil at some point. All right, let's go see what else we're missing down here. Yeah, we got. I wish these fans would turn. That'd be cool. But whatever. We live with it. Um. Okay, car chassis we can make. Uh, we're gonna need one, most likely. We need the engine assembly, right? 
Car, engine car assembly. Oh, brass radiators. Car transmission. Okay, we're going to need to wrench the crap out of a bunch of stuff then. Because I think I've been scrapping those. I'm pretty sure I've been scrapping those. Um, I can't get lucky up here, can I? We've only got, we've got a damaged one. And there's nothing in these... Yeah, nothing in any of these. Alright, well... Let's see what else we can make. Oh, the radiator. Oh, we can't really do anything without that uh, thing. Is there any cars over here to wrench apart? We've wrenched them all from here, I think. There's one over there. Oh, we got a damage piece. Which means we can put one together. Excellent. I gotta say, after this horde, I want to be driving around in that car. It's got that, that uh, cattle, uh, what do you call it? Cattle brace or whatever it is right in the front that could just smash cat or people out of the way with. Okay, let's close this up because I'll forget to do that tonight. Uh, right, downstairs. Uh... Running out of time. Let's go. Move it. Okay, so we can put together... That's a body assembly, car body kit. We need to make a kit. Electrical assembly. Where's... Oh, I didn't grab the other transmission part. Ah! Okay, car transmission. Let's craft that. So there's the body. Now what else do we need? Where's my car here? So we need a, the engine assembly. Which I'll have as soon as that transmission is fixed. Beautiful. So let's get that crafted. Where's the engine assembly? Car engine assembly. Craft. Okay. Car body assembly. Which we need the kit for, right? The, the body assembly kit. Car body kit. Doors. Car hood. Trunk. Fender. So we need to make two more doors. And a hood. Car doors. So two. And we need a hood. Craft. Oh man, it's so easy. Just like steel and iron. Okay, that's going. What else do we need now? So that'll be the body kit. We've got the car seats. Alright, and then that'll be the kit. So that will part will be done. We need an electrical, an electrical assembly, VM wheels, and then the forged steel. That's it. So do we have electrical assembly upstairs? Or do we have a piece that we can actually assemble, like put with the one that we have that we can fix? I think we've got broken ones in here. Come on. That's an alternator. That's an alternator. Uh, we do have alternators in here. Electrical assembly. What do we need for electrical assembly? Can I make that? I, I would assume we, we would be able to. Um, right? Electrical assembly. Alternator, battery. Yeah. Okay, that's all the electrical pieces we need. So there's the front end. There's the hoods. Or the doors. This is the hood. Now these are the doors. What do we just bring in? Doors? Wait, what? Did I make two sets of doors? Car doors. Car doors. I did. That's the trunk. That's the hood. Okay, so where's the... Body kit. There we go. Our body kit, craft. Get in there, guys. Get in there. We still got time. Only problem is it's not going to come with a full tank of gas, so... Um, but that's fine. I mean, we got, we do have, like, what? We still got, like, I don't know, 6,500 gas left. So even if we're just using this to drive back and forth, up and down the uh, main drag here, running zombies over, it's totally worth it. 
I just went upstairs to put some stuff away. Uh, how are we doing down here? 12 seconds. And then we just need the body assembly we should be able to do. We've got the chassis, got the car seats, got, then we're making the kit. Excellent. There's the electrical assembly. Oh, I see. It's got this plus... Oh, I see. I, I was looking at this icon earlier. Alright, I think that's all we need, right? Once the body assembly is done. Once this is done, we make the body assembly, and then... Bob's your uncle. Or in my case, my father-in-law. Look at this thing, man. It's got the cow plow on the front. Okay, all our lights are done. I just want to grab this first. Just to, I'm interested to see, like how it. So it's like a cap then. That would make sense. So it caps onto something. So you could like put it like here. Like that even. There and one there. Or even have it post go up too high or three high and then it kind of shines down. Yeah, I mean, we could do that. I don't know. But that's going to be for after horror. We can't do that right now. Actually, let's leave it in here. Where are you? There you are. Leave these guys in here. So the track lighting is exactly what it says it is. That's cool. Okay. Let's just leave that in here too. Where are you? There you are. Alright, let's go finish this car up. We got three hours before hordes. We got lots of time. We're good. I don't think there's anything else we have to do. Okay. You. Car body assembly. Craft. How long is it going to take? A minute? Alright, let's go throw some stuff upstairs. Alrighty. There it is. Beautiful. That can craft over Horde Knight. Awesome. Okay, let's put some stuff away here. Uh, what did I have on me? Oh, my paint. Those guys can go in there. Alright, let's get our first aid stuff down here. I'll take those just in case. Learning Elixir can go in the belt. Wire tool just in case. One of these just in case. Don't need those. Uh, what else do we might need here? I don't think we'll need the Atom Junkies, but I'm going to bring some with me just in case. We need one of these for after the Horde. Uh, might as well top this up. Grab a couple of those guys. And I think that's all we need for tonight. Okay. And then let's grab one of these guys. And we might as well grab... Uh, let's use this. Let's just grab some of these in case we need them. But I don't think there's anything else. Well, food-wise, let's just take one of these just in case. Okay. So that's all we need from down here. Let's close this up. Close you up. Um, now what else do we need? Uh... Right, we need to grab our looting goggles, right? Plus five, yep. So those guys can go out here. So you and you for when the horde's over. And then we'll put you in there. Got electrical parts, yes. Repair, nail gun, yes. Uh, we're drinking those, okay. And then we need to bring the... M60, shotgun, shotgun. This is a backup. We need to get as much armor-piercing ammo on us as possible. So let's grab all the AP ammo. Alrighty. And then shotgun ammo. Because let's face it, this base, we need as much shotgun ammo as possible. And then the pipe bombs. Get all those on us. Okay, so we don't need you. You're going in here. Okay, uh, let's modify you. And then we're going to go with this guy. Okay, so we can put the rest of this away. 
Let's bring out the AP-44. Don't have a lot. We can put that away. Actually, yep, that's right. And then we can put the regular 44 ammo away. Okay, bring you down. Shotgun in here. So these guys have got AP. These guys are for backup. That was a quick reload. You are this. Turn that off. Shotgun, we're loaded. I think we're ready. Pipe bombs can come down. I'm gonna hold on to that up there as another backup weapon, but we've got it if we need it. Plenty of shotgun ammo. Pipe bombs need to be down here to get immediate access. All right, well, ready as we'll ever be, I guess. Am I missing anything? Let's just turn this off for now. Um, concrete, we got concrete, iron, steel on us for repairs, electrical parts for repairs, body repairs. Atom junkies in case it gets really crazy and we can blow the shit out of people with those. Uh, I think we're good to go. Um, okay. You know what I forgot to do? Come on, hurry up. One thing I forgot to check. Um... Got to check my gun. No, no, no. Oh, wow. Barely used any ammo last night. Or last time. Alright. Shit, I left a hole in my base, but whatever. What I can do about it now. Actually, there is something I can do about it right now. Let's grab one of these guys. on. You can do it. Uh, this guy? Perfect. Lovely. All right. Well, ready or not, here we come. Okay, so, start, this is our secondary line of, uh, of um, power, so if we need it we can just quickly throw this on and we get power back up again. And then this is our secondary defense. Alright. Do I feel confident? No I don't, but we'll be fine. I hope. Alright, what do we need down here? We need you guys down here. Alright. So 32 Zombie Horde Knight. Survivalist difficulty. This base should do okay, I think. I think the steel... Uh, we're, we got enough steel here. We got two levels of steel here. And then, of course, the reinforced concrete that's underneath it. And then we've got, like, two here. We've got three across this way. We're good. Kind of. Alright, well. Let's get these in us now. Alright. Alright. Come on, you bastards. Where are they spawning? Behind the base again. Yeah, we're gonna have to be bouncing back and forth. I wonder if we should, um, use the shotgun on one side and bombs on the other. I don't know.
I mean, we could just, like... Oops. We got so much gunpowder left, I could just stand here all night and just use pipe bombs. There's just something about taking zombies' heads off that's just so satisfying now. Bouncing back and forth is going to be a problem. And we got two, two skill points now. Bounce right off that dog's nose. Doesn't feel like 32. It doesn't feel like 32 at all to me. It just doesn't feel like 32. It does feel like the, the zombies are surviving a bit more than they normally do though. Like, so they're not all, um, dying with the explosion. Although we're still taking their heads off pretty easy, rel well, relatively easy. Okay, feels like that wave is done. How are we doing here? I can't tell damage-wise to these. How are we doing here? Oh, that needs a bit of work. Those aren't even on yet. All right. That was a cop sitting on me. Not liking this. Sixty four is going to be fucking crazy. Almost didn't get him. Okay, hold on to that. Well, let's 
pick that up? I can. Nice to know if I miss a pipe bomb, I can pick them up. No demos yet. All right. Probably a good thing. Oh, that blew that one right up in the air. I threw it and it blew it up. They're definitely a lot hardier. One there. Oops, that didn't go out. Well. At least I'm not taking damage from him, that's good. Come on. Soften him up a bit. Get rid of this frickin' cop. All right, let's throw one out. Got a double bomb off on that corner. Yeah, it's the radiators that are really muscling their way through those pipe bombs. I mean, I thought they'd be a problem, but on insane difficulty, they're gonna be even more of a problem. It's probably going to end up being a double throw for all the pipe bombs on Insane. Well, you know what? We'll have Atom Junkies too, right? Like, I got insane amount of Atom Junkies so stored up. Okay, quickly, quickly, quickly. The damage here. That one needs some. You need some. You need some. What about back here? Those are still fine. You need some, you need some. Stop moving. I'm gonna shoot your head off. Okay, 40, 40 pipe bombs. Clear that area a little bit. That went too far. Oh, there's our demo. Where is he? There he is. I don't know. Too late. But we'll find out how much damage he did. 
You did want to test it. At least it's a relatively controlled situation. I don't even think he broke the steel. Yeah, I don't even think he broke the steel. Another demo. That was a cop going off, I think. So I know where I gotta spend my next points. I wanna spend it on Penetrator. Go ahead and repair this guy. All right, we got wires going down here. Cannot have that. Way too many at the wall now. How's the cop going off? All right, let's see where the repairs need to be done. Looks like it's here. There we go. That's kind of a good combination put that the dogs and the uh, the cops, because the dogs kind of like, oops, the dogs kind of like block me from seeing the cops. We might be down to the last little bit here. Okay, so they broke through here. I think that's the demos. Yeah, I mean, he only did, like, didn't do a lot of damage. Half of the damage on the wall. Yeah, 64 is going to be nuts. We may have to fall back on the 64 night. I think it's really going to depend on how much demos show up like if it's ridiculous amounts of them we could be in a lot of trouble but I think if I just pay more attention to making sure that I'm like fixing these blocks it's just that it's so hard when you've got so many zombies against the wall and there's gonna be twice as many next time so we're gonna start with two of these running next time both of them running it next time I think we have to. I don't think we have a choice on this matter. And what we might want to do is run... Uh, I don't know. I was just going to say maybe we run some turrets from the back. Shooting into their backs. But I don't think that's going to matter. Yeah, see, he didn't... He blew up out here. It was a cop that blew up out here too. But he didn't break through the, the steel. Which is a good thing. I mean, that's, it's nice to know that they're not going to break through the steel with one explosion. So if we miss one, they're not going to get through to get me. Alright, well, let's go check our loot. So 
So we burned through about 60 pipe bombs tonight. But I think with Atom Junkies the next time, I don't think it's going to be anywhere near the problem we had. Yeah, 59 pipe bombs we burned through. Alright, let's just put you guys in there. Wait, where's my SMG? Keep you guys on me for now. Alright, let's go check out what we got out of this. Yeah, I think they reduced the damage that the demos do because they, I thought normally they would break through a concrete block, but it didn't doesn't appear they did. So, I mean that's good news for us, but just gotta be careful now, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and use this. Hey, we got our mining done. Which means we got a chance to one-shot ores now. That's, uh, that's awesome. So when you're mining, there's a certain percentage chance that every hit that you do will one-shot the ore. Which makes mining so much faster. I think it's like a 30% chance or something. Or 25, but still, I mean, that's still fairly sizable. Three level 6 chainsaw. We got a bit of our ammo back, but, I mean, whatever. Ooh, level 5 auto shotgun. Alright, that's it. That is it. So I don't have my thing on me to see how much damage they did here, but this side looks pretty good. Like, I don't see any obvious breaks in any of this stuff. So, I mean, that's pretty good. Now, we, we did repair over here, but this is where the demo went off, and he didn't blow through the concrete. So as long as it's only one or so, like... Like, yeah, like, I mean... Oh, they blew through here, though. That's fine. I mean, even if they break these, they still can't get into me until they break two of these. They gotta break two of these plus a plate of steel to be able to get to me. So if they, get, if they break this, it just means that they're going to be standing. Well, they can't even... Well, they might just be... They might just be standing on here. With their head up in there. Alright, well, that wasn't so bad. I thought it was going to be way worse than that. Alrighty. So that's the end of Horde Night. I'm going to get in and get organized. And then tomorrow, we'll work on the base, get it fixed up. Actually, you know what? I'm going to hold off working on the base. We're going to go off tomorrow, I think. We're going to go and handle that... Um, the... the uh, What's it called down there? The Shamway Foods. I'll get to check this auto shotgun out. 1410, eh? Yeah. Well, I don't think it's better than... I think ours was 1410 anyway, but we just have another... Just another slot to be able to put stuff into. This has got two. Yeah, so this is about the same damage. Magazine size 16. I think this was 13, wasn't it? Oh, it's 18. So I don't know if that's any better. We'll just toss it in there for now, but... All right, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I, th I, th I think that was a pretty fun horde. Could have been a lot worse. Let's go ahead and wear that. Could have been a lot worse, but I mean... You know, it is what it is. Now with the uh, 64 zombie horde night, it should be real interesting to see how, how, well, uh, how well they do on us. I got a feeling... They're going to be breaking blocks, but I don't know if they're going to break in or not. All right, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.